Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. Today, I want to talk about some fragrances that I think would work great for date night or a night out or really anytime you wanna feel like feminine and kind of sexy. And I have a bunch of different perfumes here. I think I have like 12. They're all like designer or niche. And to me, these all have something a little bit like flirty or sexy or something about them, which I think is so fun. I was definitely inspired by Valentine's Day to pick these fragrances and I think that whether you're going out on a date with your partner or you are doing like a Galentine's Day thing, whatever you're gonna do, I think that these would be fun. I liked the idea that you're picking a fun special scent to like go out or just like enjoy your day with. And I thought it was fun to kind of pick some things that had a little bit of a feminine edge to them. I tend to go more unisex with my fragrances. And although I feel like these have a feminine energy about them, obviously anyone can wear any perfume. So don't let that stop you if some of these sound intriguing, but there are a bit more floral than maybe I normally talk about. And I think they all kind of hold their own when it comes to uh, something a little bit sexy, at least to me. Not all of them are only deep and dark and like sultry in that way, but I think um, they will fit a bunch of different people. So hopefully there's something on this list for you. I would love to know what fragrances you think would fit this vibe or category. And I'm gonna start off with the fragrance that was actually sent to me by Twisted Lily. This video isn't sponsored, but they did send this out. I'm an affiliate with them and you can save 10% off using my code, it'll be down below. That is affiliated and any of the other perfumes you can get off of Twisted Lily that I'm gonna talk about, I'll also leave links for down below. I thought Lipstick Fever was a great pick for this video, not only because the bottle is beautiful, it's this ombre transparent red, but the name itself, Lipstick Fever, I feel like going out, getting dressed up, putting a little bit of lipstick on is definitely a date night vibe to me, but this is a makeup-y scent. So this is a little bit powdery. It has both violet and iris in here, so those like purple purple flowers, that powdery purple flower. There's also a little bit of sweetness coming from a raspberry note that's in here. And you get like this smell of a lipstick tube that has something really comforting about it. But then there's some patchouli and cedar one in the base of this as well as some vanilla. And I feel like that's what kind of turns on this subtle sensuality to this. This is very similar to how other uh, Juliet Has a Gun perfumes are in that it is kind of this skin scent. I feel like this stays on me so well. I It doesn't list any kind of like molecular notes, those pheromones that not a perfume has, but I do get something kind of similar and I feel like I, I smell that throughout the DNA of the house and that's why I like them so much. This lasts super well on me and I think this is perfect for someone who wants to just smell good. Like these types of scents make you smell good. Like your scent is just a good scent. It's like, what is that? But then this one has like a makeup-y twist on that. It's really nice, subtle yet sexy. I feel like this is very sensual. If someone's getting close to you, kind of nuzzling up, like like you're definitely gonna smell it. It's a really nice one and I also find kind of unique like those makeup -y scents when I smell them. I, I'm gonna do a video at some point talking all about different like makeup -y type of scents because I think it's just so fun especially since I love makeup so much. But if you haven't checked this one out this is definitely a good one to check out from the house but really I feel like with Julie Has a Gun you like can't go wrong. Like all of them are so good. They all have this kind of musky skin scent thing about them and I think they just do that so well. So that's my first pick. I do have another kind of similar one, so I'm gonna get it out of the way. If you're looking for that same kind of like sensual but understated kind of scent, a little bit addictive, but you don't know quite why, like that's how these scents are to me. I think Fleur Missing Person is another great option. This has definitely had its shining moment on social media. This is also kind of like musky and powdery. It has those florals in it, but I do get more of like a warmth from this. Yeah, there's something super like warming about it. The musks in here are really addicting and like, fill a room. This one has a lot of sillage, but there's something about it that's like so sensual, but understated. Like it's not this bold in your face kind of sexy moment. Mm, this is so good. Like it's one of those like simple yet sexy kind of scents. I really, really love this one. I feel like anyone could wear this scent though. Like this one isn't necessarily to me super feminine. It's just a great scent. And it took me a second to get on board because I smell these kind of skin scents a lot and I do like them. But this one has this tiny bit of a twist on it because you do smell some of the florals, but that warmth is what brings me back and I really, really love it. So this would be perfect for a day out. This would be perfect for a 
night out. This is really just a great all, all the time scent and I feel like it kind of morphs into any situation it works, you know? I did a video like this last year, so I'll leave that down below. It's on my other channel, but I do have a few picks that are the same, but I have a lot more that are different than I thought would be. Uh, and I thought that was kind of interesting. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have it down below. I felt like these ones definitely had a little bit more of, of those florals going on. I was kind of surprised. Let's talk about a few fragrances from Killian. I think both of these would be really great date night scents or just anytime scents. I think these both have a sexiness about them, but in different ways. So first I do have Love by Killian or Love Don't Be Shy. This is just the original and this one is not for everyone. It's very orange blossom heavy and kind of that like stinky, like stinkier white floral orange blossom kind of scent, but also it has just an enormous amount of sweetness coming through. And it did take me a second to like this, but now I'm fully on board. I love that super sweetness paired with the orange blossom. It's so good. I feel like it helps like counteract it. I've heard some people describe this as like a fruity pebbles fragrance. I was like, huh, I kind of get that. Like I can't, when I think that and I smell, I'm like, okay, fruity pebbles. Like you're pouring out the bowl. Like, okay, I, I got, I get it. I actually get that. <laughs> so this is, I feel like very like, light, airy, feminine, but powerful still. But the thing is, to me, this has a sexiness about it. It's not just like a daytime scent to me because there's this civet note in here. There's this musky note in here. And I feel like that's also adding a little bit to the, I don't I don't wanna say stink because it's like giving the wrong impression, but I will, I'm telling you, the first time I smelled this, I was like, what the F are people on, okay? Like what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Why do people like this? And I feel like that little touch adds something just a little bit more sexy to this like it does it, it grounds it just enough to still be I feel like where you could go date night with it I think anyway I love this fragrance so it's one of those ones like there was this moment where it just clicked and I was like I want to smell love by Killian right now like that sounds like it will just scratch this itch and from that point on I love it <laughs> it's so good if that doesn't sound like something you would like though I do suggest I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess this is the newer packaging that's available at Sephora I bought this last year when they launched it but they do have some older packaging that's like very <laughs> Unique, we'll call it unique. Mm, this one's really good, definitely different. This one to me is more powdery and kind of like powdery spicy. I get like this kind of powdery spicy moment, but it also has some marshmallow in here. There's some peach in here, which I think is really, really nice. This is a mix of like a little bit fruity, a little bit fluffy, um, some florals as well. There's a tea note in here, which I think kind of gives it something a little bit special. But this is like a nice, sweet to me, sexy scent without being too dark. Like if you don't like something too heavy, be too like leathery or oody or woody or something like that. I feel like this is a really, really nice one. This is just so good. If you like fragrances like Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid or even Nishan 100 Silent Ways, I feel like this is definitely in that realm. I always compare those, like those three to me, they're like bonded as sisters <laughs> to me because of how the notes are similar. But I would say that this isn't as smooth and creamy as Nishan 100 Silent Ways. And I would say that it is a little more maybe complex smelling than Ruby Orchid if I had to like let you know the differences very shortly. But I love those. I think they're great date night scents and I think they're very feminine too. And I think they're just beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna get away with doing this type of video without mentioning Kaoli Vanilla 28. This is the epitome of like the perfect vanilla scent for all the time. But I'm telling you, this is just a crowd pleaser when it comes to guys. Like if that's what you're trying to do and you like vanillas, Vanilla 28 is the one, okay? This has brown sugar. I think there's like some vanilla orchid, but I feel like what sets this apart is there is patchouli in here and don't let that scare you because it just adds this perfect amount of depth while still being just like a run of the mill, like middle ground vanilla. It doesn't go too heavy, doesn't go too anything. Ooh, that adds something like sweet and spicy to this. You know what I mean? Like this isn't a spicy fragrance, but I just mean like, you're cute, but sexy, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can go either way with this. You wanna just be cute and whatever, perfect. If you wanna be like sexy and bombshell, this also can do it for you. Ooh, this one is just, I know it's hyped, 
and it deserves all the hype. It deserves all of the hype. I love Vanilla 28. If you wanna add even more spice, sex, you wanna add some depth and some richness to this, I do think that Vanilla Royale sugared patchouli would be a nice choice. It's definitely gonna add something a little more overtly, I think, sexy and kind of like powerful to this fragrance. So it's a great combo to layer, but I also just think on its own, it still works. And I love the way this wears. It's pretty linear and just like a great, it's just a solid vanilla that doesn't go too foody because I have so many vanillas that I love like that but I don't think that those are really like to me I'm not wearing that on date night and I'm even not wearing that for like Galentine's Day you know what I mean like I think this hits like all the spots just perfectly next I want to talk about a flirty fragrance this is one to me that is just so likable so easy to wear it really could work for so many different occasions but I also think that it's just such a fun girly fruity fragrance that has enough sex appeal to it that I think it still works for date night, Valentine's Day. It's so good. Let me tell you what this is. I'm realizing I have not told you. This is Sunset Hour from Goldfield and Banks. You've heard me talk about it. Oh my gosh. This is another raspberry scent. Second one on here next to Lipstick Fever. This is a totally different direction. This is super fruity, but still kind of woodsy. Oh, I'm having like so many memories from last summer. I love it. <laughs> I wore this a lot last summer. I mean, I have a dent. <laughs> I got a dent going. This to me is like a raspberry, like a gourmet, like a expensive, okay? An expensive raspberry like spun sugar. That's kind of what I get from it. It's so good. If you like Burberry Her, I feel like you would like this. Like I feel like you would like this. I don't like Burberry Her, but this to me is what I want Burberry Her to be, okay? This is what I wish it was, but I guess I don't need that because I have this and I love this. Super fruity, super flirty. I feel like it just has this fun, vivacious energy about it. And I think there's something about that that just draws people in and is sexy in its own right. And so I think it deserves to be on the list. I love the bottle. I feel like it just gives me vibes. Like, I love it. This makes me want to like have a good time, like have a good freaking time. Absolutely love this fragrance from Goldfield and Banks. I also think this is one that's like very easy to like. So if you like things from Bath and Body Works, you want something more elevated. I feel like that's what this fragrance is. It still has a youthfulness about it. But again, it feels like the more expensive kind of refined version of that. And similar to that, this was on my video for like, last year, but I have to mention Fragrance de Bois Minuit Demi. I love this. My dent in here is massive. I've had this for like a year now. I bought it for my birthday last year. This is my birthday gift to me. And this is the sweet, sexy gourmand that's elevated and classy and just like so sexy without being foodie. Like it has tons of foodie notes. There is, oh my gosh, what is in here? There's like a spice in the top. There's pimento. I think there's cardamom in the top. You definitely get that spiciness, but this has an airy quality about it for having so many heavy notes. There's caramel, coffee, vanilla, cinnamon, tobacco, liquor. I mean, there is so much. There's some woody notes in the base and all that would make you think that this is going to be this heavy, thick fragrance. And yet it is airy and just sexy and confident, but still lightweight. Mm, I love it. <laughs> I love this one. Sam really likes this one as well. I was wearing it for a long time. So I think he's like, he has memories also like associated with this scent. But I think that this is like the perfect, like one of the most perfect date night scents to me. Like I, I don't know, out of all the things here, I feel like this is the most me and the most likely pick for myself for specifically a Valentine's date night. Like we're getting dressed up. We're gonna go to a nicer restaurant. We got reservations somewhere. I would most likely out of here of what I'm showing you, pick this or Bach. I mean, Bach Baccarat goes without saying, it, it's on every list for me. Like it fits everything. It is like ditto the Pokemon. It will, it'll turn into anything. What do you want? <laughs> Baccarat does that for me. But if that's not in the running, this is the fragrance I think on this list specifically. It just has classiness about it. Like I'm ready for like a five course meal. I'm ready for the white napkins. You know, I'm ready for the tiniest portion of food you ever could see. That's like plated in a creative way. That's what this gives me. It really does. Mm, it is beautiful. I feel like this though, if you're looking for similar scents, this is so similar to Penhaligon's Changing Constants. And it is also really similar to Navitus. I believe it is Ray Spirits. I just got a sampler pack from them and I love Ray Spirits. It's so good. It's very similar to this scent. I would say that one is like a little bit more spicy, like a little bit heavier, not quite as airy as this, but very, very close scent profile. Same with Changing Gons. Like all three of them, again, they are sisters bonded for life, um, at least in my mind. So if you have those, that kind of works too, but 
Damn, this one is so good, perfect for date night. All right, four more to go. I have to mention Valentino's Born in Roma, Donna Born in Roma. I've had people correct me when I say Donna Born in Roma, but I still hear people saying Donna Born in Roma. I don't know. I know that Donna just means woman, so I don't know. Born in Roma, Donna Born in Roma. This scent is so good. It's floral jasmine with some black currant in the top and a vanilla bourbon. Like to me, this is the epitome of like feminine, sexy, sweet, soft, but strong. Like I, I really love this fragrance. This is one of those designer fragrances that like deserves the hype. I think it is so great. I love the vanilla. I love the jasmine though. I really enjoy jasmine as a note, uh, especially if I'm going to go floral, like jasmine <laughs> tends to be the way I go. And this one to me, I feel like with the heat of your body really warms up. It creates it's this cloud that like, you know, for me projects, it also lasts. Like this thing is a beast on me, okay? I wore this on a road trip once and the entire road trip I kept, like I could not escape the smell of it. I was like, damn girl, you smell good, but you are here. You are here, you're present in the car with us. You're singing along to the tunes, holy shit. It's really, really good. I feel like it's also one that a lot of guys tend to like if that's something you're going for specifically. I really like that super big crowd pleaser. It is popular for for a reason. Let's talk about a Delina fragrance. I have the Delina Exclusive here. This is just a scent bird case of it. I just got a trial size because Parfums de Marley, is, I mean, a lot of the fragrances I'm talking about here are expensive, but they are also very expensive. And as much as I'm not sure if this is full bottle worthy for me, I think this is like a perfect, sexy, floral, date night scent that's feminine and sexy and just like so abashedly I feel like like woman you know like I love it it is really good to me on my skin I feel like the vanilla that's in here really comes out so the notes on this is this like Delina which has like lychee it has rhubarb and that rose but the exclusive version adds in a lot more vanilla and so to me that takes that original a little bit more sharp uh, Delina fragrance and softens it a bit, kind of like wraps it in something really sensual and sexy to me. The reason I haven't bought the bottle of this is because when I wear this, it one, it lasts so long, okay? I had to like scrub it off me because I was going to bed and I was like, you're gonna keep me up all night, like whispering to my nostrils, okay? <laughs> like I couldn't, I knew that I would not be able to get to bed. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but some scents and strong scents, like I just can't get to bed if I'm still smelling them. But it is nice that this is gonna last on you, especially again for that price. There's something about this though that I keep coming back to. I think it's gonna be one of those fragrances that kind of like Love Don't Be Shy will just click one day. You know what I mean? Like click and be like, I need to smell Delina exclusive right now. <laughs> You know what I mean? But this to me is just so feminine and sexy and absolutely beautiful. I'm surprised by how much I like this with the rose. Ooh, another good one would be Atomic Rose. I don't have the bottle of that. And sometimes I forget to add scents in that I don't have the bottle. But if you haven't smelled Atomic Rose from Anisio, you guys need to smell it. It's so good. That would also be like a more dark, sexy rose scent for date night. Oh. That's a great one. Anyway, I wanted to mention one of the Delinas because I just feel like they fit the vibe so much, especially too if you have the bottle. Oh my gosh, these bottles are absolutely stunning and beautiful. They are pink and ornate. You know, getting ready for date night spring on, having that on your vanity, please, please, absolutely stunning. Okay, two more fragrances left. Next, this is like your designer bougie scent. This is YSL Libre. Le Parfum. I really like the Le Parfum Flinker version. This is the most recent version because it is again dosed with some vanilla. That is what I like. Okay, I'm gonna make a video I think because all these flinkers keep coming out and they just are like, mm, let's do that with tons of, uh, with a shit ton of vanilla. And I'm like, thank you. I love that. <laughs> like please. I know that's not everyone's vibe, but that is sure my vibe, especially for designer scents. It's sometimes harder for me to like them. So I love that they're adding vanilla to them. <laughs> anyway, this is orange blossom. There's some lavender. It's very florally, but then that vanilla again, just adds something a little bit softer to it. I feel like the original of this scent and the intense, I think it is, um, they still had like a sharpness about like just something kind of cloying, like I couldn't get past it, but this adds just enough of that softness, something a little bit sweet and softer to, to tame it down for me, honestly. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's another one to me that I think is kind of classy as well. Like I 
feel put together when I wear this fragrance. I think it's another one like you're going out to eat, you're going to a nice restaurant, whether it's with your partner, whether it's with your girls, like whatever it is, this would feel so great. Like I'm picturing like black jumpsuit. It's just maybe what I would wear. But this, you know, some nice jewelry. Love it. Like such a perfect scent for that vibe. It feels expensive, but still playful. And it's a really strong one as well. I find, I don't know, designer scents like to me, they stay. <laughs> They're like, once you invite us into your house, we're staying forever. Um, at least I feel like the ones I have, they tend to like really hold on, hold on for dear life. Okay, last on my list. This is one that was in my last date night perfume video. And this one is the deepest, darkest, sexiest one here. I could have added Oud for Greatness. I could have added all these scents, but I don't know. I'm just in a little bit of a different state right now. I'm into a little more florals and not only like heavier woody scents. I kind of want to feel that, but this one from Montal, this is called Dark Vanilla. This to me is that kind of sex bomb shell kind of scent okay it is strong it's gonna last forever okay oh it's good oh it's so good i do love these scents so this has a very strong dose of vanilla it's a very sweet sweet vanilla but i feel like it is counterbalanced like if vanilla is over here dumped over here it is counterbalanced with notes of leather, with notes of oud, and those can be really strong really overpowering but i feel like because it's so sweet it just turns into something that is just like sexy and powerful and just like holy like bombshell it is just bombshell to me bombshell when i wear this out i always get compliments every time and for some i don't feel like i get compliments all the time okay like some people are out here like i get compliments I'm like gosh <laughs> That must be nice. <laughs> this has some spice. This has some patchouli in it. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. I feel like this is going to take you through dinner, but this is also going to take you to like the after hours bar that you go to or the like dimly lit little booth that you're at making eyes with someone. What I don't know what you're doing. I'm just saying this is going to take you there. It's going to last first of all, but it's also just that vibe. Like it is a dim lit room. All eyes are on you, baby main character energy, siren, dark feminine energy. Like that's what it is, okay? <laughs> that is the vibe I feel like of this. Like not only does it smell like some leather, but you're probably wearing something leather. Like you have an edge about you. There's something kind of alternative going on and it's just so nice, so sexy, so sweet though. Still very feminine because of how sweet it is, but very strong, very bold, beautiful, sexy. Absolutely love this. Even my mom loves this fragrance. She's like, you know that sample you gave me, Dark Vanilla? I really like that. I've been wearing that. I'm like, okay, girl, I love that for you. <laughs> I love that. So I think this is a really great one. I know Montal has a very specific kind of like DNA, but I really, I like most of the fragrances. This is one I feel like is really great to have in your arsenal for those specific times. So, so good. I absolutely love it. But those are my picks for like date night, Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day. I don't know. I hope that I got the vibe across over what I was trying to do. I'm like, it's kind of romantic, but kind of sexy, but kind of just flirty, but kind of floral. Like, I don't know. Feminine energy. I don't know. I think I got it through. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But I would love to know, what would you pick? What are some fragrances you think fit this vibe, fit this list? I would love to know down below. Especially if they're niche. I love my niche fragrances. I would love to check them out. But thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. And other than that, I'm I'm gonna leave it here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.